Reddit by Reddit recap. Flight attendants of Reddit. What's the worst attempt at joining the Mile High Club that you've seen? Not a flight attendant but I was recently on a flight where two people made it obvious that they were trying to do the nasty. The bathroom on the airplane was extremely small and unfortunately the couple was more on the bigger side. They tried to both squeeze into a bathroom not so quietly and it failed as they couldn't get the door to even close. Not a flight attendant but I once gave head to a serviceman on his way to active duty in the Middle East while we were over the Atlantic Ocean. There wasn't anybody in the middle seat. So between them turning down the lights for the overnight flight and the blankets we had, it wasn't that hard to be discreet. No way would I fuck in a plain bathroom. Those things are nasty. Took an international school trip senior year of high school. The amount of under the blanket fingering and hand jobs going on without any adults knowing or flight attendants commenting. And yes, my girlfriend and I had the back row to ourselves on the second leg of our flight from Israel. A red eye from NJ back home to LA, where she blew me while she was napping in my lap. I'm not a flight attendant but my two friends got pretty smashed before their flight. My buddy put one of Kate's rings on his finger claiming they just got engaged in order to argue his way to sitting next to her. Kate heads to the bathroom as soon as the seatbelt signs off and one minute later I see my buddy, Mike, making moves to the back. 14 rows away from the back of the plane all we heard was, knock knock you yo. Kate, let me the fuck in. It didn't work out for him but it was a hell of an effort. Flight attendant here, as a guy was walking off the plane. He looked me straight in the eye and asked who do I talk to about joining the mile high club my reply don't be that guy. Nobody likes that guy. There seems to be a lack of flight attendants in this sub so I'll chime in to help my co-workers. Couple gets on the plane in high spirits and make themselves comfortable in the last row of the plane. Where out galley is. Myself and the other FA don't think much about it and go about our business. After service is done we stow the carts and I notice that there was a jacket covering the guy, and the lady was half under it. He was in the aisle seat and she was by the window. Should point out now this was not a full flight. I'm tapping the other FA on the shoulder and whispers this really happening the lady's hands were clearly in his pants and the guy reclined his chair all the way to enjoy what was happening. We had thought about getting them to stop but were too uncomfortable to start a conversation and they weren't making. Well any noise, as well as we figured if the guy was gonna nut it was gonna be in his jacket. So, we went back to doing our jobs. Guess what was stuck on the window after the flight? Spoilers. It was gum but the initial scare got us good. Okay, obligatory not a flight attendant but, but I'm an airline pilot, so I feel that is close enough. I haven't been flying at an airline very long, but long enough to know the flight attendants so far in this thread are lying about being a flight attendant, or incredibly naive. During my first trip as an airline pilot, we had a passenger get a little tipsy and flash the cabin. There were no children on board, so the flight attendants didn't even bother to tell us until we were waiting for the hotel van. Same month we had a couple near the back of the plane lift the middle armrest, and do it under a blanket. They were kind enough to take the blanket with them at the end of the flight. This spawned a conversation about the worst passengers that those flight attendants had dealt with. The winner of that conversation had found a designer glasses case, left behind in a seat, that had come in it. Note, I am not saying that you will get away with it. It all depends on what the flight crew wants to do about it and how much you are disturbing the other passengers. While men afars will turn a blind eye. Do you really want to find out if you're flying with one that will not? Not a flight attendant, and using a throwaway because people know my main account, but I actually joined the Mile High Club about 5 years ago. I, M, had know the girl, F, for a few weeks prior, met while traveling and found out we were going to be on the same 10 hour flight home. We talked about doing it beforehand and made a plan. Once they started to serve dinner, I would go into the bathroom. Two minutes later, she would knock and I let her in. My friend that I was traveling with knew what we were doing and was standing watch. I told him wait 6 to 7 minutes, and when the coast was clear, knock on the door. We made a secret knock so I would know it was him versus some random stranger. Then I would come out, 
and two minutes later, she would come out. It's important to mention that I went about two weeks without ejaculating prior to this, so I was well built up and ready to go. I didn't plan on lasting more than a minute or two under these circumstances, so the 6 to 7 minutes I told my friend should be plenty of time. Anyways the time comes and I head into the bathroom. Two minutes later I hear the knock, and she joins. We're both small people, but those washrooms are tiny and it's extremely uncomfortable trying to find a position that actually works. I would absolutely not recommend trying this if you're 6 feet and and or over 200 pound. After a few minutes we find a position that works, but now I'm struck with so much adrenaline and nerves that for the first time in my life, I was getting performance anxiety. I knew we had limited time and I had made it this far already. I needed to complete the task. A quick minute or two of foreplay and I was good to go. As anticipated, I didn't last very long at all. I wasn't wearing a condom either. I pulled out before finishing and two weeks worth of my troops went shooting all across the bathroom, on the wall, the floor, the door, it was everywhere. Obviously I reached for the toilet paper to clean up, but right as I do I hear the knocks on the door, it was time to go. I quickly did up my belt buckle and left, and two minutes later she left as well. I don't know if she fully cleaned up after me, but regardless I felt bad for the next person using that washroom. And when I spoke to my friend about it, he told me he was too lazy to climb over the people beside him so he just asked some confused, random girl to knock on the bathroom door. I think she figured out what was going on pretty soon after. Not a flight attendant but I almost joined the Mile High Club once. I met someone flying home from college. I got bumped into first class, found myself sitting there next to a positively ravishing woman. She was a bit older and I was trying desperately to be suave, so when she leaned over and suggested we join the Mile High Club, rather than admit I was unfamiliar with the term, I whispered back, I really don't travel enough to make that worthwhile. God, that was 20 years ago. Nope. Still can't laugh about it. My mom's a flight attendant. She told me of a red-eye flight where everyone was asleep. She was walking towards the back when she saw a woman straddling a man in first class. She loves to yell at people. Not a mile high club but I was flying from Bali to Thailand and was seated between two girls from the UK that were friends. We start talking and I am telling them a story about how just before I got on the plane there was this couple aggressively making out. They start laughing and one goes like this and they then both lean over me and start making out for about 30 seconds. One of the hottest things I've seen and I just sat there in disbelief with a semi chub coming on. I'll abbreviate the story but I was flying back from my grandma's funeral and started a conversation with the woman next to me and she got drunk and showed me grainy naked pics of herself on her flip phone and she got wasted on red wine and tried to get me to have sex with her in the lavatory but I declined. She was puking in there as we were landing. I was working a red eye flight, first class with only 16 people there. The seats have a pretty decent sized gap between the two seats. A couple has been drinking and obviously flirting for some time now. I was done with the service so I was just hanging out in the galley. I do a quick walk through the cabin to see how everyone's doing. And that's when I saw the guy reaching over the large armrest with his hand down the woman's blanket. She is clearly holding back moans as her head is tilted back and she's biting her lip. I think the worst thing about it was that with the distance between the two seats, it just looked so damn obvious that he was fingering her. I honestly didn't care that much so I just crept back to my jump seat and continued to watch my Netflix to kill the time. I was on a flight maybe a decade ago during spring break, so lots of college students on my plane. It was a large plane with a middle row with three seats. I was to the left and sitting on my right was a male army bro in his early 20s, and to his right a college age lady. They get to talking. She is obviously flirting with him. He is talking about his army training. It's not captivating at all, but they have chemistry. I watch a forgettable movie and disregard their conversation. About 2 hours and I start to hear make out sounds next to me. I'm not gonna hate they can have their fun, but it escalates. 
I start to hear her moaning and he quite obviously is fingering her aggressively. No shame at all. I feel a bit like the the third wheel so I went to the lavatory to give them privacy. After returning to my seat, it was apparent he had done a good job and as we deplaned it was clear they were going to find a closest private space to finish the tryst. Actual flight attendant here. My girlfriend came on one of my layovers recently, and we had a very long delay to get back home. The flight that left before us was booked light, so they reaccommodated all of the remaining passengers to that flight. When we finally flew back to base, we had no passengers, so my girlfriend decided to stay on my flight and be the only passenger. Looking back I probably missed an opportunity. A bit late to this, but my laddie friend is a flight attendant. Her best story is when the offending couple came out of the bathroom, they were presented with a first time mile high club certificate signed by the whole flight crew, including the pilots. It was drawn on one of the first time certificates given to little kids, and they crossed out a few words with crayon and wrote in mile high club instead of first time flyer. The couple were suitably embarrassed. I've been a flight attendant for 3 years and I've never caught anyone. I did have a co-worker tell me she had two people in first class, during sleep time with all the lights off, having sex in one of their seats. Best comment of the day. I have a story, that this reminds me of this, but doesn't compare to it. My stepson was 4, goes to the bathroom, and 10 minutes later lets out a scream. Me and my wife run to the bathroom. I jimmy the door open with a small screwdriver we kept above the door for this type of emergency. My stepson is standing there facing the toilet with a fire hose type stream of diarrhea blasting out of his ass all over the cabinet below our sink. I ask him what was wrong, and through his tears he screams I can't stop pooping. I then looked around the bathroom. The toilet and the wall behind it had been painted with shit, and it was amazingly high up on both. Of course I mentioned the cabinet which was blasted. The bathtub and shower curtains along with the door were also coated. I had no idea that this amount of shit could come out of a human being, and here is our 4 year old standing in the middle of it, and the smell I can't even describe. As I took the boy to the other bathroom to clean him up I looked at my wife, and then looked at the disaster area, then I said this is yours. We are no longer married.